Today we are tilt teaching Tilt Brush and this lesson is going to be about advanced controller tricks. So things you can do with your controller to customize the way you work, make it faster for, uh, for you to work, and a few interesting ways to make it uh, your controller instead of the default Tilt Brush controller. We're going to start off by looking at the color palette. We've seen how most default settings have a general hue or color on the main circle, and then your uh, saturation and light and dark on the sidebar here. Well, at the bottom of the sidebar is a little tiny square button. That square button will change your color palette from a, uh, one set to the other. They're basically doing the same thing. One section chooses which color you want, the other section for what shade of that color. Some people prefer to go this way. Into the center makes it gray, towards the edge makes it vibrant, and then pale and dark on the side. The other method, we choose which color do we want, and then what shade of that color do we want. Two different ways to get the same colors, but some people find it easier one way or the other. We have this toggle at the bottom of the column to go back and forth. Now, often when you're painting something, you'd like to use the same color more than once. And sometimes finding that exact color can be difficult. Well, Tilt Brush will save personal colors in its own little palette. At the bottom of the color palette is a little tiny plus sign. So I'm going to find a nice bright shade of red and then use the plus sign. And it adds a little red dot at the bottom of my color palette. So if I'm using a different color, at any point in time, I just click on that dot, and I'm back to that same shade of red. Now I'll go into a blue and go back to that same shade of red. You can have multiple colors saved in this list, but there is a limit. Once you reach the end of this uh, set, so I'm going to set a whole bunch of different colors down here. But once you reach the end there, you can see there's no more plus signs. Let me get rid of these guys. There's no more plus signs, so it only holds, in this case, a maximum of seven different colors. But that's very useful in a large-scale painting when you want to reuse the same shades. To get rid of it, to remove it, if you move your pointer over these saved colors, it adds a little tiny X underneath that color. It can take a bit of practice and good aim, but once you hit that X, it removes that color from the list, returns the plus sign so you can add fresh colors. It will save these colors between sessions, so you don't have to find the colors you were using yesterday. At the end of the day, you can save what colors you're using, and when you start up again, your color palette should be there. So our second color tip is using the color palette to save colors for later. Color tricks. Another trick we can do with our controllers to customize the way we work. If I bring up a guides panel, guides, we can see it's a self free floating panel to get the information from. Come here, you. Guides panel. But with our palette, any of these panels we can grab and rip off and place anywhere in the world. So I could grab my color palette and put it over here. So that as I'm painting, I can go and change to different colors without having to stop and fumble around with my other hand. These panels stay relative to you, the artist, not the painting. So if I move the painting around, you can see my panels stay here with me. And I move back over here and I can choose a different color and off we go again. So the panel itself, we can grab panels. So I could grab this one, put it here, grab this one, put it here. Whoops, come back here you. And actually build our own set of controllers. Move these things around place them at different points on the panel, and it will remember your custom setup between sessions. If you ever get losing track, or you decide you don't like your arrangement, under More is a little icon to reset these panels. Reset panels. 
and it will put your controller back to the original default setting. This is part of our advanced controls. We can customize how do we want these panels to work. So if we use certain panels more than others, we can totally control our panels. Advanced controller tricks. One last trick for today. If you're using the straight edge tool, it is an alternative not only to do straight lines, but it's another way of doing perfect circles and spheres and things as well. We've seen how you can use a guide to get a good sphere and circle going, but the straight edge works as well with most drawing tools. So as you can see, I've been drawing with my straight edge tool today, and it's great for drawing straight lines. But if I draw my straight edge tool, don't let go, but then make a circle that passes back through the starting point circles. You will see that once your aim is good, come on you, it'll actually turn your tool into a circle. There we go. Now, it is a perfect circle, and as you move your mouse from that starting point, your controller, it does make that circle of different sizes. It's also oriented with your controller, so you can set it at different angles. Or once you've got it, you can use your selection tool to grab that circle and move it anywhere you want, stretch it bigger or smaller, whatever it is you want to do with that circle. So with a straight edge tool, I'm going to switch to a different marker. With a straight edge, making a circle that passes through its starting point, of course, now it's not doing it as regularly for me, there we go, gets you that perfect circle effect. Now with a circle, you'll notice I haven't let go yet. If I loop it back some more, now it turns into a full sphere. When I let go, if you look carefully, you can see there's a spiral pattern. Again, I'm going to select it so I can grab it and move it around, supposedly. There we go. See that little spiral at the top? When I let go, you can see it makes a spiral pattern to draw this sphere. I'm going to use the dots tool. Here's another way of doing a line. Straight line makes straight dots. But if I do a straight line and then loop it through itself, come on through myself, eventually we get a circle. If I let go now, it is circle of dots. And again, the selection tool lets you move it around. I'm going to do the same thing, but after getting my circle version, I'm going to do it some more and get the sphere version. When I let go, it is a sphere of dots, which I can select and grab and move around and grow bigger or smaller. And now I've got the Death Star plans happening. We can draw little keystrokes going into it, that type of stuff. Let's turn off our selection tool. And now we have point to this location, that type of thing. So this tool is great version using the straight edge tool with some of these tools. Not only can I do circles and spheres, but if you make the spheres big enough, especially depending on the capabilities of your computer, instead of keeping this full sphere, it will eventually turn into just a half circle or a dome. So once I get this darn thing going spherical for me, gotta loop it around through itself. Come on, circles. In the final version, we may time lapse this. There we go. But I'm going to keep pulling it bigger. Now that it's a gigantic piece, we're going to use our selection tool, grab it, and make it smaller. I've got a dome or a cup. It's still a nice, near perfect shape, but it's much easier to manage than trying to draw it yourself or using a guide. So the straight edge, not only for straight lines, but also for doing spheres, circles, and domes. That's today's advanced controller tricks. Customizing it, color variations, and using these straight edge tools for doing much more interesting spheres and circles. That's all we're doing for today. Thanks for joining us. 
We're going to be back in a few, and we're going to be doing more of these lessons every week. So come on back and see what we've got. And I, of course, spelled it wrong again. I had a tendency to lose that C. There we go. Thanks a lot. Have fun, and enjoy your tilt brush. <laughs>